bring his head up a little higher. Just give a little jerk up towards the ceiling and then kind of leave him alone. So there, he looks pretty good. He just looks a little heavy in the front end. So I just give a little half halt, then relax. Yep. And then another little half halt, then relax. Yep. And as you do it, do even a little less with your um, fingers. That's better. So that way I won't see him change his speed as much. I'll just see him get a little bit lighter. Yeah. Okay. So keep that speed. Now, if you can, this is going to be weird because you've been working to get his head down, but bring his head just a little bit higher. Yeah. And just take one hand and kind of do a quick jab up towards the ceiling and then do it again because he didn't bring his head up. Yeah, right there. Yep. And then try it again. Bring his head up again. Yep. And then leave him alone. Good boy. And then again and a little bit more leg. That's better. Yep. Good. Now stop him again and just a break just for, we'll give him like, so you'll take him right back up to that speed. Just a little bit more. Yep. Oh, too much. Yep. That's pretty good. Good. So as he's going across, still give those little half halts. Because again, he gets a, a tiny bit more lateral. Yep. Bring his head up a tiny bit. Yep. Nothing. There you go. Yep. So he got his head up, but he got a little pacey because he was over on that side. Yep. That's really good. Yep. There he's a little pacey, so slow it down just a tiny bit. Good. Now stop him again for a second. That's good. And just keep the same speed as you go over the pull. Okay. Yep. So he looked down and then he just got pacey. That's okay. Just do it again. So now he's actually going faster than he was for your flat walk. So right there's good. Yep. His head's good. Then don't let him speed up. Good. That was very good. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> he's you like. Tell him he's good. He's like, I stopped. Yeah. There he's a little faster. There you go. That's better. That's a better speed to keep. Okay. Just keep going around and going over the pole. Yep. So keep sitting back. Keep half halting. And then just a tiny bit of leg. Whoops. So there he got. A, he shortened his stride and then he got pacey afterwards. But that's okay because we just started up again. But here he looks pretty good. Yep. Keep looking way up. Keep sitting back. A little nudge so he pays attention. Good. That was very nice. Yep. Go around again. But So the two poles are helping him. So in the meantime, we're trying to imitate the poles by half halting, sitting back, and then trying to keep that same rhythm. That was good. Yep. So keep going around. Keep looking up and then just look for your next pole. That's okay. He just added a step instead of taking a bigger step there. Yep. Keep staring at the pole. A little half halt, then look up above the pole. That's okay. Yep. So just go around again. We'll get it better. And just don't let his head get any lower. Yep. Keep sitting back. A little leg. Good. That was a good one. Yep. I think that's my problem. I always had his head too. Yes. And it's hard because we work so hard to get them to carry their heads down. But if we get them too dressage like, then they actually get a little heavier because okay. these guys are supposed to, you know, use their shoulders and shake their heads, but they'll actually shake it more if it's up a tiny bit more than it is right now. Yeah. It's yeah, it's hard. It's weird because, you know, we think, oh, it's dressage horses they collect, but these guys start getting down and then they start leaning right there. His head is good. So as you went over the poles that time, it looked really good. But I'm saying it in the video, so hopefully you'll see it. But like there, he's getting a little bit too low. It looks pretty, but he's not going to have as much head shake. Right there, it was pretty good. He just took a short step. But you're adjusting him well. You're doing a really good job up there. There, his head's getting a little low. 
So there he kind of kept it as low, so he didn't shake his head as much over the poles. But Sandy was working on the same thing. Oh, yep, really? yep, because she got now her horse's head too low. That was better. See him shake his head. He did it. His head. He did it just a step or two. And he's shaking it the whole time. He just shakes it more when it's up a little bit because he's using his shoulders more. Good. Now stop him because that was actually pretty good. Yeah, but he did. Yeah, keep looking up and sitting back. So he picked his feet up, but he lost a little speed going through it. Yeah. And remember, if he's not getting to the right spot, it might be because he's drifting to the left. Yeah, so there he just slowed down. So he got over it well, he just didn't keep the same rhythm. There, his head looks pretty good, you just don't want it any lower. Yep, so there he slowed down instead of using himself. He's like, I'll just go slower and then it's not as hard. So out of your corners, like after this pole, keep half halting and then just keep your left leg and your stick kind of against him so he doesn't drift and keep looking for your next pole. Yep, and then hold that stick right against him so he can't drift and a little clock. Oh, yeah. So he was good, but he shortened his stride instead of like stepping out up and over it. Yeah. So keep that left leg against him, a little clock. Yep. So the only thing he's doing is just slowing down. Everything else looks good. Keep sitting back. Yep. Keep that left rein against him. Keep that same rhythm. That'll stop. So that was actually a good one. really think about it you got it so keep sitting a little slower so breathe a little bit yep keep your eye up a little clock <laughs> that's gonna make a great picture now that's okay so stop them and pass Remember your shoulders? Nope, he didn't get it. So just try it again, sit down all the way. Yep, there you go. And then keep your eyes up. Keep looking towards the wall, shoulders towards the wall. Yep. You got it. So think of your turn, keep half halting. Sit back, look up, half halt. That's okay, that's okay. Yep, and then just walk and try it again. But that way he didn't leap over at that time, that's okay. Yeah. Yep, so now you just get your lead again. It's totally fine. Yeah, remember those shoulders. Nope, he didn't get it. Sit back, there you go. Really turn your shoulders towards the wall. Not his so much, but yours, yep. Nope. So skip, just walk over the pole and then when you get to the other side, we'll try it again. But this way you practice the turn to the pole. Good. He got it. He didn't get it in the back though. He just had it in the front. So just try it again. Yep. But he tried, he just didn't get it behind. Yep. Still say, oh, he's on the wrong one, sorry. Yep, so just walk and just walk over the pole. Just practice your turn. And then go a little slower before you ask him to pick it up again. Yep. Yep, sit. Don't look at his head so much. Nope. So as you do it this time, kind of keep, when you're going to ask him, put your stick a little bit behind your leg because that might bring his hind quarter in more. No, that's okay. He thought about it and then he couldn't get it because he was kind of up on the wall. So just try it again. It's no big deal. It's hot and it's tiring. 
You got it. So a half halt, keep your left leg, keep your stick on his side. That's okay, that's still totally okay. So a little slower, keep sitting back, whoops. You still got it, yep. So use your weight, use your breathing. So easy, keep breathing, that's good, yep. Keep your stick against him, keep your eye up, good. And now stop him, whoa, now big reward, because he did everything right. Nope, but you weren't right against the wall and that might add to it. Yeah. That's it. Because there it, it's an opening, so you won't think anything, but that the walls provide support for them. You got it. So easy. Keep the same rhythm. Keep your eye up. Yep. Now just walk because he's on the wrong lead. He did a flying lead change. And then just ask for the canter again. That's okay. So as you go over the pole, if you remember, look to your right. So go down the wall before you ask for the lead because that's right where you asked it last time and he didn't get it. Yep. So now you can turn his head to the outside and then try it or by the cones. Wrong. Nope. Whoa. Yep. So just make a circle so you can go around and try it again. Yeah, remember, keep his head out, your shoulders to the left. He, yeah, it was awkward. He was going to pick it up and then he just walked. So you just try it in another spot, but use the wall to help you. Yep. You got it. So now you have plenty of time. So use your breathing. Go a little slower. Keep sitting. Try to keep the same rhythm. Outside rein and leg. Look to your right. Look at me. There you go. Now stop him. Whoa. 